Doug Miller, welcome to Daily Drive. Thank you, Jamie. Good to see you. So, I mean, first off, let's get right to it. Cars Commerce is a new name. Uh, what's the importance of of that name as opposed to using, you know, cars.com? Yeah, I, you know, look, in this day and age, there's increasing complexity for our dealer and OEM partners. And um, I see it every day, right? We work, I work with uh, my team out in the field, working 20,000 different dealers, every OEM, and uh, they have a complexity of software partners. They have a complexity of digital advertising solutions. They have um, hundreds of vendor partners. It's it just an increasingly complicated field. And cars as a company was also increasingly diversifying its platform of solutions, its interoperable solutions for, for partners. Um, we were becoming a fan, sort of a, a group of brands that uh, we wanted to make more clear we're designed to work together. A marketplace brand that we're all familiar with after 25 years, cars.com, uh, but also Dealer Inspire, AccuTrade, Dealer Raider, and the other pieces of, uh, of, of the company coming together under a, one umbrella. That's what it's about. It, cars Commerce is a platform for our dealers and OEMs to, to operate, and we wanted to simplify things for them. Yeah, because I think a lot of people assume that your business model is built around, you know, consumers as your customers, and maybe you get a, a dollar or you get $10 every time they they shop a car or buy something, you know, that they find through your site. But it's really that you're providing services to dealers. Yeah, right. right. If I'm at a cocktail party and I'm talking about the business, uh, you know, I, I'm going to talk about cars.com. That is the consumer facing brand. 28 million plus consumers come to every month looking for a car or looking to sell a car. Uh, and, and, and that's the one that we're investing the most marketing behind. So it's, it's the most household brand. Mm -hmm. The other brands are to the trade uh, and to the industry. And um, but they interop they're interoperable with that marketplace as inventory is presented on that marketplace. It's easy for that inventory to also be presented on the dealer inspire marketplace and for the web deep web links that are on the marketplace to link directly into that website and for us to for the measurement systems to be interconnected. So so increasingly um, the software solutions and the media solutions from cars commerce were uh, as they become more interoperable to go to the trade and say we have a platform for automotive commerce uh, and and to simplify things for our dealers. That's really what the cars car commerce announcement is about. One more question on the just sort of the story of the company. You know, uh, the stock took quite a hit when COVID first you know came in with full force and basically shut down the whole economy. Uh, stock fell quite a bit, and it's really pretty steadily kind of climbed uh, since then. Not the huge bounce back that retailers and uh, automakers really saw during COVID with the uh, outsized profits and all that. But where where do you see the company in its overall growth and uh, health, and and what's what's next? Yeah, you know, maybe to borrow from uh, from Bezos, uh, day one, right? I I I think every day for us is is day one in trying to in building something that is truly um, designed to simplify things for our for our customer base, um, and 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 make something great on the marketplace for consumers who are who are shopping and trying to trying to sell cars, and uh, while. We have a lot to be proud of. Uh, we we think that there are many innovations ahead for how to speak to consumers, and really, consumers are pushing us all right into a uh, an era that bridges digital and physical worlds in better ways. And um, that's something that we're very focused on. We believe that you know ninety percent plus of consumers still want to buy from local retailers, right? Mm -hmm. We believe. And we're champions of the local retailer. Well, we have to, we all have to work together to bridge that physical and digital world and, and allow the consumer to move gracefully through that. And one of the other um, pieces that we, we added over the last year, Jamie, was uh, 
uh, a, a piece of technology that allows con uh, our dealerships to put their loan products in hmm. front of the consumer on the marketplace or in front of the consumer on their website so that the consumer can get pre-approved for a loan. Well, that was a very thoughtful addition because the consumers who come to the marketplace that we often survey and get feedback from, that's the type of capability they're looking for, something they can do digitally and then move into a um, an easier process with the dealership, knowing what they're pre-approved for and uh, what they can afford, what what uh, what type of payment they they might have ahead. Um, so I, you know, so the arc of the last few years has uh, certainly accelerated uh, the adoption of digital from consumer. It has certainly accelerated the the adoption of digital from our our dealerships. But it is now a moment with Cars Commerce where we are focusing on simplifying those things, making it easier for uh, for dealers to operate uh, in that digital world and bridge it and unite it with the physical. As as someone who's so involved <laughs> in the evolution of the you know retail environment, uh, where do you feel like we are as an industry, as an economy? Uh, are we is inventory kind of back? Um, it's not as high as it was, but it was too high. Is it kind of where it should be? Do we need more inventory? Uh, what are you seeing in the marketplace? You know, we are seeing uh, from we we have this great view, right, of the the actual cars.com marketplace where we have the listings themselves and we get to see the the ebbs and flows of inventory. And certainly, yes, when uh, uh, the supply constraints in particular, the supply chain constraints were hitting, you could see the constraint on new car inventories on the cars.com marketplace. You could see some emphasis from franchise dealers as well as independents on the, on the used car uh, market. Uh, but even there, trying the difficulty of trying to get a hold of the types of used cars that consumers mm -hmm. were shopping for. Well, we can see the, the inventory starting to build back up on the, on the new side into to a to a healthy place. It's a, I wouldn't say, I mean, there are certainly pockets of places where uh, maybe there's oversupply or undersupply, but I, I think we're, we're starting to build back up into a, uh, a more healthy state. Um, the, you know, the interest rate, the interest rate environment is such that the consumer is searching for affordability. You can see mm -hmm. that on where the heat is coming on the, <laughs> on the marketplace, what price points, the consumers are putting more heat on versus others. You know, the average price point on the marketplace these days is uh, in the in the neighborhood of fifty thousand dollars, and I think consumers are trying to find affordability relative to that, given uh, the interest rate environment. Um, uh, but that also is part of the reason why the um, uh, tools like AccuTrade are very relevant right now, as uh, dealers are trying to make sure that they have the right car cars in their inventory and and they're using their service lane and AccuTrade to acquire out of their service lane to get more used car inventory uh, on the lot, especially for our franchise partners.